Okay, well, if, if, Jill's, if Jill's too young to have been doing this for 34 years, I feel too young to be a grandfather. So, uh, okay, so thanks for the introduction, Jill, and, uh, and also uh, thanks to the CRI for uh, organizing this incredible, oh, sorry, sorry, I have to bend forward. Okay, so thanks to thank you, Jill, for the great introduction and for uh, and for the CRI for organizing this uh, really incredible summit. So uh, I think you've already seen in that very powerful video that the Cancer Research Institute is a powerful advocate for basic tumor immunology that has led to advances in immunotherapy. And as a basic scientist myself, I really want to emphasize the importance of getting that early funding because. All of the patients who are alive today are alive because of laboratory experiments that began on basic principles that at the time weren't even necessarily thought to be related to cancer at all. They were just basic science investigations into how T cells work, and that's, what led, that's what's led to where we are today. So they play an incredibly important role uh, in this process. And they've also played an incredibly important role for us here at NYU. So uh, as Jill mentioned, they funded our research, but just to give you some sense of that, they funded, over the last 50 years, they funded 70 scientists here uh, and to the tune of over $10 million. So we're very grateful for that support. So we at Perlmutter Cancer Center at NYU Langone Health are also honored to host uh, the Cancer Research Institute's fourth immunotherapy patient summit in New York City. Uh, for those of you who don't know, PCC is uh, the NCI-designated Comprehensive Cancer Center for uh, NYU Langone's health system, and we're one of uh, the three uh, comprehensive cancer, NCI-designated Comprehensive Cancer Centers in the New York metro, metro area, along with our partners, Memorial Sloan Kettering and Columbia's Irving Cancer Center. So as a, a growing institution, our center now treats patients across the entire metro area of New York, including our most recent addition as of August 1st, Winthrop Hospital in Long Island and also NYU Langone, Brooklyn. We have a diverse clinical trials portfolio that gives patients access to the newest, most innovative therapies to treat their cancer. And in your, uh, your bag and also elsewhere on, on the tables at the summit, you'll see a one-page information sheet that can help you learn more about Perlmutter Cancer Center's uh, clinical trials uh, and see if you might be eligible or interested in one of the trials that we have available. We also want to thank uh, all of you for giving up this nice sunny day. It's not like it was yesterday. There's, there's choices, so we're glad that you all came here uh, uh, to join this summit. Uh, and to the patients and caregivers who are here, uh, thank you for coming as well. You are actually at the core of, uh, of what all of us are working towards here at Perlmutter Cancer Center and in cancer centers across the country. Uh, I'd also like to welcome our colleagues, the physicians from uh, uh, Memorial Sloan Kettering uh, and Columbia who have joined uh, our own uh, Perlmutter Cancer Center physicians here uh, to participate in this summit. Uh, and without any further ado, it's now my pleasure to invite Dr. Vamsi Velchetti. Uh, Vamsi serves as the Director of Thermestic Medical Oncology here at NYU Langone's Perlmutter Cancer Center and he specializes in treating patients who have uh, thoracic malignancies, particularly lung cancer. And his research, as you might imagine, focuses on uh, the clinical development of novel immunotherapy agents that can power the uh, immune system uh, to fight lung cancer and also discovering biomarkers that uh, will guide patients into the appropriate clinical trials. So do uh, Dr. Velchetti, Velchetti will lead our first uh, session today on the basics of immunotherapy and then he'll invite Drs. Adams, Friedman, and Manji for a panel discussion. So please join me in welcoming Bamsi.